Intern! I'm so glad you're here! Good morning! Good morning! Oh, and you're here just in time to see our new arrivals! Oh, look at them! Look at the little crate shake so much! Oh, I get so excited when we have new animals in the zoo! This is gonna be fantastic! I can't wait to show you, everybody! How you doing? How you doing, little guys? How you doing? Intern! This is a flock of absolutely adorable little beaters! I cannot wait! I will admit, I do have a bit of a soft spot for the avians in the world. Oh, and these guys are so cute. They are actually going to be companions. Oh, look at our wonderful arches. Oh, so cool. Even though I'm not a big gorilla fan. You, you didn't hear that, but it's true. Oh, and look at... Oh, look at you! Pooping! Just in time for me to clean it up. Well, that's okay. That's okay. You're still cute. Look at these guys. Where do you think you're going, huh? Do you need more room to run? Good job keeping this area nice and picked up, zookeeper. I approve. Oh, look at it. Look at how cute you are. Oh my goodness. Yep, I think these guys are, are doing quite well. They seem pretty darn happy too. That makes me happy. Though, you know, I've been thinking it might be time to expand this area, especially if they are about to get some companion animals. Oh, and the kind of companion animals they're getting too. Look at these little ones. They're so adorable. Uh, now, as usual, we need to make sure that we look up a little bit of information about them. They're not an endangered species, but I was able to get my hands on a whole flock of them for really cheap, like like dirt cheap. So I decided why not pick them up? It's always wonderful to have mixed exhibits so that our guests can be able to see what it's like to have multiple animals living in a healthy ecosystem together. So about these guys, they circle larger animals and even cars to catch the insects that try to escape. So they're going to be pretty good. They're not an ox pecker, which is uh, one of the companion animals to the giraffe species. Often when you see the giraffes roaming around all over the savanna, they've got birds on them. And I think we've discussed this before in turn. Those birds are ox peckers, and they will pick off the ticks and things from ox. Uh, pretty much anything where a tick is going to get on them. I've seen them before in some documentaries, like jumping on lions. And you know, the lions and all the other animals tend to put up with it because it feels good to have those nasty ticks, those parasites pulled off of you. And the birds love it because, I mean, to them, it's like these animals are a roving little buffet that they can go and visit with and then peck off all the ticks and they have food. So these guys are bee eaters though, so it looks like they will travel around and kind of eat the insects that are nearby. Let's see what else about them. This species, like other bee eaters, is a richly colored striking bird, predominantly uh, in coloration, but with the crown and undertail covered, covered blue. Ooh, they look beautiful. They remind me of the finches I raise at home. This is a migratory species, spending the breeding season between August and November in Zimbabwe before moving south to South Africa for the summer months and migrating towards equ equilateral Africa from March to August. So these guys are busy little bee, bee eaters. Oh, you're so cute, so cute. Let's see. Its usual habitat includes low altitude river valleys and floodplains, preferring vertical banks suitable for tunneling when breeding, but, re but readily digging vertical burrows and level surfaces of small salt islands. This is a highly sociable species gathering in large flocks in and out of breeding season. They roost uh, communally in trees or reed beds and disperse widely during the day. Oh, so that's good to know. So we might add some reeds along the, the waterway for them. Hmm. Diet is primarily bees and other flying insects. And their major hunting strategy involves hawking flying insects from perch. Perches may include branches or vegetation and even the backs of large animals such as... Oh, that's so funny. Okay, they're attracted to wildfires because of the flushed insects and are often seen circling high in the air. They also eat rodents and lizards. Goodness, you guys have quite the very little diet. All right, so let's see. Why don't we make sure, first of all, that they've got plenty of food? So, ew, we're not gonna stick out. I mean, we could do it where we put out some raw meat and then they can eat the flies that are attracted to it, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna put in some insects for them to eat. Let's try putting the insects away from where the giraffes have their little food pile. So we'll sort of sprinkle them over here because I think that'll be a good spot for them. And then we'll put some more insects over here. I think along here is where we'll try to make that little river bank that they can enjoy. And a few more insects right here, right here. Let's see. There's also a food dish with some worms. So even though that's not my thing, people might enjoy watching them eat some worms. So we'll put some worms right there. 
they do enjoy some toys now and then, which is interesting to me. We might add um, a ball with a rattle. Yeah, the pursuit ball looks like it would smush them. <laughs> They're teensy little guys. So let's put in a ball with a rattle here and a little small toy ball over here. They might enjoy just chasing it around. Birds are very inquisitive creatures, so that might explain their passion for uh, playing with balls. Let's see. Ooh, I love these trees. I don't know if it would match in here right now, though. Hmm. I think we're okay on trees and things. Let's see, and the African daisies. Ooh, the bushes. I love these bushes. Might add a few of them just for a little variety among our African daisies. There's those. We've got Mary Thistle, Common Broom, Red Oak Grass. Ooh, I do love the red oak grass, too. Uh, I think we're okay with that, though. Let's see. I really do want to add some reeds, so let's go ahead and see if we can find any reeds in our plants that we can add for these little guys. Big, big blue stem. They would probably be maybe a wetlands. Let's see what the zoo has to say about wetlands. Ah, there we go. This is what I'm thinking about. Kind of like your breathing roots, um, cattails even, gamba grass, hmm, common water plantain, water soldier. I wonder if we should add... Water lilies aren't exactly something you would see like over here though. That would be kind of weird. I think we'll add just a few little cattails or actually the gamba grass. We'll put just a little bit of it along here to kind of mimic their enclosure. I'm not sure what kind of like, uh, like if they, oops, that's a little bit more right there. There we go. So just a little bit along the edges there. We might kind of even that out some. Ooh, look at that. What is that? King cup? Ooh, they're cute. Okay, I'm gonna just sprinkle a couple of them in here. You know, where you tend to have one plant, you usually have other plants as well for a little bit of biodiversity, so. That's, at least that's my excuse for using so many plants. But they make our exhibits look gorgeous, you gotta admit. All right, so there's that. All right, what else do you need, little guys? Hmm. Got your food. We might put some rocks down. Now, why put rocks down, you ask? Because, you know, insects like to hide under rocks. At least that's my excuse. So I might sneak one right there. Put, put a rock, uh... Where's our other thing? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that'd take up too much room. But we'll put a rock right there to like kind of mimic the insects being under it. So I think that'll be good for these little guys, our little bee eaters. So let's go ahead and move their crates into our exhibit. Come on, little ones. All my little fluffy birds. And then we will let them loose in turn. And we'll see how they do. And speaking of birds, we do need to check on our peacocks. Oh, what was that? Haha, -ha, speaking of birds, check that out. That's awesome. I wonder if he's gonna come down and uh, like peck at some of the food. I wouldn't be surprised. All right, let's let our little bee eaters out. Oh, they're so adorable. You can't even see them. They're hiding in the grass. Ah, oh, that reminds me, peacocks hiding in the grass. We need to go see if we can actually find any of those peacock eggs. I would expect some baby peacocks roaming around by now, but I can't find any, so we need to dive in there and see what's what. All right, let's get in here. Hello. Hello, little one. I cannot see. <gasps> it's so adorable. Oh my goodness, where are you? Okay, be careful where you step. Be careful where you step, zookeeper. Oh my goodness. Look at you! Look at you, you little bee eater! Oh my gosh. They're so cute. I did not expect them to be this freaking adorable. I really didn't. And they're just roaming around. Good. Oh look, this one's right over here at the food. It knows where the yummy stuff is. It's like, oh, 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 gotta look around. Oh, giraffe, watch out. Don't step on him. Oh my gosh. Well, this is an interesting little uh, situation we have going on right here. The giraffe is just taking a nap uh, right next to where the little bee eaters. Oh my goodness, you guys. Don't step on the bee eaters. Bee eater, watch out. Oh my gosh. Well, they're figuring out. Oh, the beaver is pregnant again. Good, good. Well, that's, that's actually really cute. That makes me very happy. Okay, okay. So speaking of birds, though, 
Our peafowl are complaining about messy exhibits, and I haven't found any of their eggs. I just keep finding poop. So we might need to dig around to heal. Oh, that's not good. We might need to hire another zookeeper. There's just a lot of poop, and I haven't been able to keep up with the panda poop lately, too. Oh my gosh. Gotta check for panda poop. Let's run around a little bit. Look at this! Yep, it might be time to hire another zookeeper. I mean, if we're having so many babies be born... Oh, the reticulated draft's gonna be birth. See what I mean? They're gonna be birth. Gonna to give birth. See what I mean? There's so much going on! Alright, intern. We've been following around for a little while, and we're still waiting. I'm grateful for our zookeeper for texting us and letting us know. Oh, hello, other reticulated giraffe. Oh, what's the matter? Why are you unhappy, my friend? You're calling. Going to be groomed. Oh, reticulated giraffe number two is going to, to groom it? Being groomed by reticulated giraffe number two. Wow, they're interacting even though they're different species. Wow, oh, you're the male who has uh, fathered many of our little, our little Maasai giraffes, huh? Oh, 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 reticulated giraffe's giving birth. Run for it. Hello, guys. <gasps> Baby! Wow, that was so fast. We have so many giraffe babies lately. Oh, my gosh. And when they grow up, we will send them to other conservations and zoos. Oh, oh, oh. These guys are having words. They're having words. They're fighting. Oh, my gosh. Is it bad fighting? Good fighting? Oh, dear. Who won? Playing chase. Playing chase. Hmm. Well, we'll keep an eye on it. We really might have to expand this exhibit and add in more animals, not only for interest, but also because our giraffes are starting to butt heads, quite literally. Hmm. We will we'll remember that. All right. Meanwhile. Hmm. Our pandas. Ah. <sighs> All right, intern. Since we need to make our little giraffes happy, we are going to expand this just a bit. But the question is how to do it, because we want to make it a nice big exhibit, but we also want our guests to be able to see everything. And by the way, I have figured out something pretty fancy pants. If we come over here, there's a special little app that lets us see what our guests can see. So if we hold the little guest viewer like right over here, it lets us know what they can see of the animals. So if our guests are standing this way, they can see all the way down to where that giraffe is in the bottom. That's pretty far. Over here, they can see the entire thing right now. So this is this is pretty good. But say if our guest was like over here, couldn't. See, oh, there we go. So they can see into three different exhibits right here. So we want to make sure that we don't make this exhibit so big, even though we want the best for our animals that the guests can't see. But I'm thinking maybe we'll do a raised platform that'll come across here. And that way they'll be able to kind of see on either side. And the giraffes, we'll have to make it pretty high so the giraffes can walk under it. Because we don't want them to, to bunk their little heads. So let's see. And also we need somewhere for the giraffes to be able to sleep. See, everyone's getting a little bit of an urge to have some privacy. So let's go ahead and put some money into researching the giraffe house. And it's pretty big, but I think it'll be okay. We'll probably put the giraffe house down here. Yeah, let's expand this little area first, and then we'll kind of put the giraffe house where we put this little end in, and we'll just figure out how we'll move from there. So let's, let's let that research. So many giraffes. Giraffes everywhere. Tall, elegant, beautiful giraffes. Yeah, this is better. Come in here. And then, yeah, there we go. See? You've got this. You and I have figured this out. And we'll just go ahead and expand it all the way out right now. Oh, more kids complaining about nothing to do. Well, we'll fix that for them. Alright, good, good. Now let's get the right type of grass down. Alright, shelter's being researched. Nice and slow. There we go. I know it looks dry and dead, but it's actually not dry and dead. It's just different. That's all. It's just different in turn. You don't need to judge it from how it usually is. Alright, now let's come over here. Do you have our little axe handy? Now be very careful. We don't want to take down the wrong ones and let the drafts just roam free. Alright, can we move these at all? I don't know if we can. Oh. Huh. Huh? Well, apparently we can't move those, but we might delete them, or, uh, pull the plumbing up, I mean, and then put them somewhere else. So let's come down here. Much better. 
Look at how much more room they have just with that one little expansion. Whoops, we got some of the grass by accident. Yeah, I think this will be good because that exhibit was just starting to get very tight for how many babies we've been having be born left and right. And I would love to see some zebra or some warthogs, some wildebeest uh, roaming around in there as well. With our little, our little uh, adorable, let's move this tree over here. Over there? That might, that might, well, yeah, we'll move it right there. Hang on, beautiful. Get you a giraffe house. Oh, look at the cool giraffe house! Alright, and they enter it from either side. So maybe putting it, like, right here would be a good idea. There we go, so that'll give them a little giraffe house. Hmm. And then anything else? Let's see, let's put some more of the African daisies out. I wonder if we'll see any of the drafts use the draft house. And I wonder how our beaver's pregnancy is coming along. And you know what? I'm still pretty darn curious. Whoops. Splash. Oh, that's right. Let's get let's get more water troughs for them. Let's see. Food water trough. I mean, they can drink out of here. I've seen them drink out of here. They're just being cranky about it. What's the matter, articulated draft? Oh, he's going to use the draft house. How exciting. We get to see him sleep in there pretty soon. All right, let's get the red oak grass over here. We'll probably take these down. And is that poop? Good job. Man, she's a good zookeeper. All right, let's see. Oh, oh, here he comes. Let's get down here and study this. Oh, look, we even have a little broom so we can clean up after him. There you go. Is it a good place to rest? That seems like a happier giraffe already. Good, getting a little bit of privacy, shielded and shaded from the the stare of all of our guests. Good, I think that'll make them happy. And speaking of the stare of our guests, let's see how far in from here our guests can see. Oh, the, our, the beaver's gonna give birth. Okay, so the, our guests can see about here, just like I thought. So we will probably put the raised elevated path right here. All right, and the beaver is gonna give birth to her second litter. I wonder if you call it a litter. We need to look that up in turn. Do you call a beaver's babies litters? Oh, replenish the lettuce. New beaver babies, new beaver babies. <gasps> new beaver babies. I think there's one baby this time. Just one? That's uncommon for beavers. Do you need, do you need more, more stuff? More space, more attention, more enrichment things? Oh, well, it's a healthy, healthy second pregnancy. And a healthy new baby. And that's always a wonderful thing here at this zoo. Oh, I'm so glad. All right, good, good. Well, let's go ahead and get another, another one of the trees over here. And I did find out in turn that actually our lovely bee eater does not like heavily forested areas. They do like open plains. So we will give them open plains. There we go. There we go, getting a little bit better. Guess need more places to rest. We'll get on top of that. Ah. <sighs> Much better. Well, it's been a lot of work today, intern, and we've got quite a bit to do. Let's see, how are the babies doing? Doing good? Are you gonna grow up soon? Are you gonna grow up soon? I actually have no idea how I would figure out how old you are. That's my bad, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, they're so cute, they're so cute. All right, intern, you go home and get some rest, and tomorrow I have a really big surprise for you. Oh, it should be pretty exciting, I'll give you a hint. It's hiding in this crate. It's hiding in this crate and it's amazing! Alright, so I'll see you tomorrow in turn. Go get some rest. Bye bye!